2010 because in our third story, the Republican roadmap for 2012 has already been drawn, and it does not include the half-governor of Alaska. A Politico article citing anonymous advisors to the main 2012 presidential contenders and veteran Republican operatives outlines the GOP's collective worry over a pale and presidential quest, as one establishment figure puts it. There is a determined, focused establishment effort to find a candidate we can coalesce around who can beat Sarah Palin. We believe she could get the nomination, but Barack Obama would crush her. Palin using her Fox platform to call out those not brave enough to use their name. If they would man up and if they would, uh, you know, make these claims against me, then I can debate them. I can talk about it. But when they're just, it, to me, it's, they're making stuff up again. But Palin's ire was mainly directed at Politico. She called reporters Mike Allen and Jim Vandehei jokes. The paper that we just printed this article on, you know, it's not worth uh, even wrapping my king salmon in. I'll just ignore this crap. Well, she didn't. Politico responded with a statement, none of these Republicans would speak on the record for obvious reasons. They fear the backlash from Palin and her very passionate supporters around the country. And they don't like fish. To that point, today, a very public show of support for Palin. Note, though, it's supporting her running, not winning, from would-be GOP presidential contenders or those from the past. Mitt Romney, she would be a great thing for the Republican primary process. Tim Pawlenty, Palin deserves great credit for all her work on GOP's behalf. Giuliani, Sarah Palin has every right to make her case to the Republican Party. Palin also had words for Karl Rove, who questioned her readiness for the Oval Office, suggesting that starring in a reality show might not be a serious path to the presidency. Once again, cue the Fox News platform. Those standards have to be high for someone who would ever want to run for president. Like, um, wasn't Ronald Reagan an actor? Wasn't he in bedtime for Bonzo, Bozo, something? Ronald Reagan was an actor. Yeah, Bozo. Meanwhile, in her home state of Alaska, Palin has been creating further conspiracies involving the media and the Tea Party favorite she endorsed for Senate and then undercut Joe Miller. Palin is defending a conservative Alaska radio host who was yanked off the air after he encouraged voters to help Miller by registering themselves as write-in candidates in order to bury opponent Senator Lisa Murkowski's name. At the same time, Palin's condemning reporters who were contemplating how to handle potential negative stories about Miller. Staff at the CBS affiliate in Alaska called the Miller campaign to schedule an interview leaving a voicemail, but forgot to hang up the phone. Again with this not hanging up the phone? Miller's campaign saving the message, which according to the Anchorage Daily News included garbled bits of conversation where folks in the newsroom discussed far-fetched hypothetical scenarios. Sister Sarah accused the reporters of conspiring against Joe Miller. That's sick. Those are corrupt bastards, Chris. That's what is wrong with the media today when they have their chosen one. And, and nine times out of ten, heck, ten times out of ten in the liberal media, it's going to be the liberal is the chosen one. Joining me now is the Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones Magazine and columnist for politicsdaily.com, David Korn. David, good evening. Good evening, Keith. Um, one preface to the, if there is substance here, to the substance here, if the, if the media helps elect people Sarah Palin likes then it's good media, right? And if it doesn't, then it's full of corrupt bastards? Well, Sarah Palin cares as much about facts as the grizzly cares about toilet paper. I mean, she'll just say whatever she thinks is calculated to the right effect. She has a record, whether it's death panels or media conspiracies in Alaska, of saying whatever she thinks will whip up her supporters. And it doesn't have to be tethered to reality. But you know, I saw a commercial with the grizzly bears. They're buying the, they're buying that uh, toilet paper out there. So I don't know about that. Well, maybe maybe I should say moose. Yeah. Okay. If the uh, if the premise of that political article is stopping Palin, are uh, the Republicans actually capable of doing that? And and was the timing of that accidental? Well, I don't know. Can a tail stop a dog? Mm. I, you know, there is no real Republican establishment, I think, that has the clout to say no to Sarah Palin. I mean, if she's out there and she's motivating those voters in those primaries, they're going to have a hard time stopping that, that, that train. I know why they're scared of it, but um, right now there's no major figure who they can rally behind who's going to be able to be a, a, you know, be a blocker to her from the get-go. I mean, I'm not saying she's going to win. I don't know if she's even going to run. But I don't think there's an establishment that can just shut her out because they want to. Isn't it John Thune waiting in the background? 
Well, yes, he's waiting in the background, and so is Newt Gingrich, so is Mike Huckabee. There are a lot of ambitious people out there, and they're not going to take their cues from a Stop Palin mo um, 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 movement within Republican elite circles. On the other hand, some of these on-the-record quotes were fascinating in what the, the actual word choice. Romney and saying she'd be a great thing for the primary process. Giuliani makes, has every right to make her case to the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. Not saying they're endorsing her, her, they're endorsing her candidacy, but not her nomination, correct? Well, I like I like Romney's yeah. remark in particular. She'd be a great thing, You're not a great president, not even a great candidate, a great thing. I mean, we know I think what they really think, and and this is one point where I'd agree with Sarah Palin. Why don't they man up and say what they really believe? But they're not going to for the obvious reasons. Um, the media is obviously an easy and sometimes helpful enemy for her at this state in the game, and has been since she was chosen uh, to run with Mr. McCain. What happens when? She not only has to answer questions from media that she hasn't handpicked, but the other candidates and then presumably the voters, even just the ones on her own side, let alone if she gets to face a Democratic opponent in an actual election where it's her and not her as the sideshow. Well, as I said earlier, I'm not convinced she, she's running, but she couldn't even make it through her bid, as, her run as governor in Alaska. But if she does run, she can run as a Facebook page, as a Twitter avatar, and say, I'm not doing debates, I'd rather have, uh, I'd rather have interviews with Sean Hannity, and that might just work with a lot of Republican primary voters. So, I, I mean, right now, she's gotten to where she, she is, which is pretty far down the road, without taking legitimate media questions, and um, I, my, my guess is she will try to continue that strategy if she does run for office. Ladies and gentlemen, the first president of the United States of Facebook... Uh, David Korn, Washington editor of Mother Jones. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thanks, Keith.